Did you have a preference okay. for languages? Um, yeah, I'm going to use Java. Sure. We're going to switch that okay. over. Cool. And for any of these, uh, if you've seen the question before, just let me know, and I can, you know, give another one. Sure. So uh, this problem, I'll, I'll let you read it over, but the summary is pretty much that you're given, uh, you know, the root to a binary tree, and you okay. want to determine, uh, you know, what the average value on each level of the binary tree is, with the level being, you know, the the horizontal uh, uh -huh. sections. Oh, each, okay, so each level, okay. Um, yeah, so like the three and the nine, two, and yeah. I see. So given a root, and these are all going to be integer values, and it, you said this is a, it's not a binary search tree, it's just a binary tree. Yeah, it's just a uh, binary tree. Okay. <clears throat> so the output should be the size of the depth of the tree? Yep. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Just trying to see if I can ask any more, like maybe clarifying questions. Um, but I think it seems pretty straightforward. Um, so it seems like I want to do a breadth first search here. Um, okay. So like the first step would be um, breadth first search, um, and then. Um, so I guess the first step would be to um, like create the queue um, and put the root node in it. Okay. And then um, I guess go level by level. Um, at each level, um, I want to keep the, so I want to um, get the count and then um, basically add up, add up the values of the nodes. Okay. Um, and then once I'm done with each level, um, yeah, when I'm when I'm done with a level, um, calculate the average, and um, I'll have some kind of result list that I'll add it to. Right. Um, so it seems like at each level, I want to kind of see how many um, how many nodes are in the queue, and that's kind of I know that that's what my level is, and then I'll um, I'll basically decrement the count until I get to zero while I'm popping things off of the the queue. Okay. Um, and then I will uh, I guess add the value to some kind of sum that I have, and then add its children to the queue. Okay. Um, so you said you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna decrement some count. So uh, are yeah. you are you just counting in the number of nodes as you go along, or I mean, um, it seems like you would kind of get that number. Uh, you kind of have that number as it is, right? Yeah. So so I guess initially I'll have three in the queue. Um, okay. The thing is, I don't want I want to like I want to know how many are. Um, how many nodes are in this level. So when I pop off a three, um, I know that the, well, the count would be one at this point. And then I want to basically do it while count is greater than zero, I'll pop something off. So then I'll get a three and then count is zero. And then I know I'm done with um, this level. Right. And then I'll add its children to the queue, which would be nine and 20. Um, and then I know that my count at this point is two. So when I'm adding things onto the queue, I don't lose track of where that level ends. Right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, just one thing, because I wasn't sure. Uh, in mm -hmm. Java, can you add, I'm guessing you can have, you know, multiple sets of information uh, within an item in a queue, right? Like uh, normally in, say, Python or C++, you can have a struct. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. you have yeah, I mean, similar? you can have a, yeah, I mean, you can have a list of objects, but they have to be of the same type. You can't mix right. it like you could in Python. Gotcha. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I guess maybe, um, I guess what you're saying is instead of putting the, um, in our queue, just the, like the value, we could have some kind of object that has like the value, um, I guess maybe like the depth and, um, 
It was just like the value and the depth. I see. Okay, and I thought I that's can, what you were getting at originally when you mentioned counts, but okay. Yeah, I don't know. I was. I mean, I guess I could <clears throat> do it that way, but. Um, yeah, probable either is okay, right? Okay. Yeah, I think just the first way I thought it was kind of more intuitive for me. Um, so. Cool. Yeah. I, I mean, if uh, uh, that makes sense yeah. to you, we can uh, go ahead and code okay. that out. Okay. Cool. Um, so I think so with this editor, I don't know if I need a like the create the class and the main function, all that. Oh yeah, um, I think I ended up actually I think it got that. deleted. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you can switch the language you, and then switch back, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll, yeah. Do you want me to do that? Oh, okay. Let me. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Paste nice. in what you had again. All right. All right, let me just run it to make sure it works. Okay. So yeah, let me delete all this and then we'll have a function um, that will return a list of integers. Um, and I guess we uh, call it get averages. Um, and this is, so I'm guessing we're gonna have a, um, like a um, an object of that's a, like a tree node, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, so we'll have the tree node, and then it will have a um, like a value, and then left and right pointers, and then we can create a constructor as well. Okay. Okay, and then the um, yeah the parameter here will be a uh, just the root. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned, we need to create our result list. Um, and then we're gonna have our queue. Um, so I can just have this as a linked list. Um, of tree nodes. Okay. Um, and then I guess we can check if the root node is null initially. Um, right. So you do get the uh, constraint that it's non-empty by a tree. So you can assume. Oh, I do. Okay. Uh, so I okay. Yeah. So I guess I don't need to check for that. Um, so I guess initially we'll just add the root to the queue. Okay. And then we'll do while uh, while the queue isn't empty. Um, we want to uh, dequeue for the first element. So I guess at first we want to keep um, we want to get the count right. So count equals queue dot size, and then we know that this is the size of the level that we're on. Um, so we can do something like uh, while count is greater than zero, and then we want to make sure we dec decrement that. Um, and then we also need our sum. Um, but I'm guessing when we count that, when we get the average, we want to do sum divided by count. So maybe we don't want to mess with this count variable. Um, so maybe we want to just do like a for loop here. Okay. Um, I is less than count. <laughs> um, so like I mentioned, so we need to do a few things here. We need to um, add to the sum and then we need to add uh, children to Q. Right. Right. I think I think that's all we need to do in the for loop. Um, so we'll do, uh, so I guess, oh, and we also need to uh, DQ, right? So um, how do I want to do this? Uh, so maybe we'll have a tree node, 
tree node pointer here. And then we will do um, p equals uh, q dot pull. And then we will do sum plus equals p dot val. And then we'll add the children. So we'll do, um, I guess we'll check if it's null first. So p. So if it doesn't equal null, then we want to add it. P dot left, and then we want to do it the same thing with the right side. Okay. And then finally, when we're out of this for loop, we want to uh, add the average. So we'll do result.add um, sum divided by count. And then finally, when we're done with that, we want to return our result. Sure. Cool. So I guess. And uh, so, yeah, I think we're done there. Is it, uh, is it okay if I test this out? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, so you want me to just create like um, a, kind of an example tree here? I'll just use your yeah, example. Go okay. through a couple examples, I guess. Okay. Um, really, I guess even the the one because there's no uh you know empty binary tree, that's not really an edge case, right? Right. Right. Um, okay. So let's create the root. Okay, and then we will, um, I think we could just system dot out this. Right. Averages, roots. And then this needs to be a static method. And okay, so let me try and run that. And uh, I think the class also needs to be static since the whole class is static. Um, since yeah, the um, yeah, let me try that. Variable sum might not have been. Oh yeah, I need to initialize this. Cool. Um, yeah, I think the only so, thing is the integer yeah. division. Okay, yeah, right. So yeah, <laughs> we round it rounds down. Um so I think I need to make these doubles. Or I need to make the count a double. Or not the count, sorry, the sum. Sum is a double and then when it does yes, yeah, sum sum divided by count. Um I think these I might need to cast this to a double here. Found that double cannot okay. be converted to integer. Um, Oh, because wait, oh, because of the uh, the result the result list is integer, so these should be doubles. And then I think we want to still cast this to double here. And then the return result will be the list of doubles. Right. Yeah, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
I think for the most part that this one test case is probably okay, just because the, the core logic seems fine and the, uh, yeah, there aren't that many edge cases you'd really have to consider for this. Um, sure. So did you mm -hmm. want to go through another question? Um, yeah, I think that was, yeah, that went pretty quickly. So yeah, if you have time, yeah. I'd love to do another question. 